Hey guys, we have this 1980s Husqvarna petrol tank and it turns out the first thing I noticed is as soon as I put fuel in there, it started to leak. This is how you can repair them for free. It's so quick, it's so easy. The first thing though is if you haven't had a repair in the past that's failed, is of course to find the leak. Now you guys know how much I enjoy using a Mighty Vac to do this, but you can just blow on the end of this tube and you'll get exactly the same result. You'll see if I spray it on that area there, you'll start to see it bubbles up. So firstly, we're going to have to clean this really, really well. I put this hose back into the other grommet just for the simple fact that it's going to help to keep most of the water out of the tank. We give it a really good clean. We're then going to remove this old repair, which to me looks like probably CA glue with an activator. And uh, it's just started to fail. So it's all nice and clean or as clean as I could get it. And uh, the, the thing we need to do now is just to pick off the old repair and see exactly what we're dealing with. So see a lot of junk has gotten in there. Hey, there we go. That came off in one big chunk. I'm gonna re-pump it up and just double check that leak again and see exactly where it is. Yeah, it's right on that seam. I'm going to go in with a little wire brush and that's just going to help to remove the last of the dirt as well as that CA glue that's there. It must be really clean for this to work properly. So when I say it needs to be clean, I really mean clean. This is, as you can see, I've gone in with a wire brush and it looks quite aggressive. You need to be. Now this crack has actually exposed itself some more now that I've cleaned it and it runs from, I'm going to show you with a hand lens in a minute, from here all the way down to somewhere around about here. I'll see if I can get it on the hand lens for you. It will be tricky. It's really hard to show you, but the crack is in the middle of my screwdriver. I'm actually using the screwdriver to open it up so you can actually visually see it. But uh, it's there and it runs all the way either side of that seam. Can you see? So it's a little bit more extensive than I initially thought, but that's fine. It's still gonna be an easy repair. It runs up to about here. So now that I've used degreaser to really clean it off, I've gone over with a wire brush. I'm now going to use some acetone, which is going to do just a better job of removing any of the oils. Clean it as best as you can. What I'm going to do here before I start the repair is I'm going to place a little black dot with a Sharpie pen. So it's very hard to see just after where that crack uh, is about to start. I can see where it goes through the seam of the tank. And I'm gonna put a little bit more of a pen mark down here. Now, how do we repair it? Take yourself an old screwdriver. It can be a screwdriver, it can be a butter knife, it really doesn't matter. And what we're gonna do is warm this tip up, not red hot, just warm. And I'm gonna first go over that crack. I'm gonna follow the line of the crack just to soften and melt that area in. It's gonna give me a small indent. Now you can heat this up with a cigarette lighter. You can heat this up with a uh, propane torch. You can heat this up with your gas burner on your stove. It really doesn't matter. The importance here is to not go too hot. I do not want to burn and make this black. It might go slightly brown, but I don't want it to go black. You can even do this with a soldering iron, but you will ruin the soldering iron, so I don't really recommend it unless you've got one specifically for plastic repairs. There is an actual tool that you can get called a plastic welder. But uh, unless you're gonna do this frequently, I probably wouldn't recommend it. So really gently now, I'm gonna go along that crack. I want it just hot enough to melt it and no more. See how we're not burning anything here? I'm gonna gently press the tank and make sure that I've hit my mark, which I have. So now what I'm going to do is repressurize this tank with a bit of soapy water on top and just see, this is not repaired, this is just the initial stage, but I'm going to see if I've missed anywhere. It's very tricky to see. Okay, let's have a look. Let's try and remove some of the soap. So it seems to be just over that seam and a little bit further up. That's fine. I'm making sure that I haven't uh, missed any up here and I'll just go back to that black dot no? 
looks good. Right, I'm going to do that one more time now. Let's just clean it off with some alcohol. Again, if it sizzles, take it off. No, it's got a nice melting going on here. And you can see I'm going in and making a trench almost. And now I'm just going to go over and smooth that valley out by pushing either side of the crack. I put the valley in, I've melted the crack, I've then smoothed it out with the flat part of the screwdriver. I'm going to test it one more time just to see if we've missed anywhere. And then I'm going to gently start to push the sides in either side and then warm up one more time to give us a bit more thickness on that plastic. All right, we're starting to feel pressure now. And I don't see any leaks there at all. We'll clean it off one more time with some alcohol. Okay, so we've now filled that back up with the material either side. You can see I've gone just slightly hotter here. It's gone slightly brown. It's not burnt. It's not black. And the last thing I'm going to do now is go over with the rounded part of the screwdriver and just smooth it all off nice and neatly. So here it is. It's a solid repair. It's going to last. And because we haven't tried to adhere a different type of plastic, like a glue, to it, it's not going to flake off. It's really important when we do this, firstly, to clean it well. Secondly, go along with your screwdriver, your butter knife, and create a V-groove to melt that crack. And then you gently press the parent material either side and then smooth it off with a uh, hot screwdriver right at the very end to give a really nice seal all round. But that's it. Job done. It's that simple. No specialist tools needed. A uh, hot piece of metal. It can be anything. Go slowly, steady, and... Uh, Shouldn't have any issues whatsoever. Let's just finish it off, pressurize the tank, check we're all good, and we'll call it a day. I've got about four PSI in there. It's leaking out of uh, these little grommets, but you can still test the repair, and there is no bubbling there whatsoever. So there we go. I hope you enjoy it. I hope it helps you guys out with fixing your plastic tanks at home. There's nothing more to it. It's that simple. Till the next time, catch you soon.